Hello guys, Wahoo here, back with another video, this time around showcasing the Lunar Lancer rework. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, I suggest you go watch it, I put it on some cards somewhere up there. You guys can check out the patch notes, I went over them, all of them, not in depth for the uh, Lunar Lancer, but more just kind of talking about the few ones because we did see a showcase of it earlier when they did the live stream i posted that on the channel a few weeks ago but now it's on the pts server for us to test out and i'll test you know talk about the abilities first and then i'll show you guys some gameplay uh, basically just showing off that and tomorrow's video i'm gonna go over all the different new class gems that was added but if you just want to read the patch note yourself you can go to the description as this it's always linked down below in all of my videos so not much further than do than just run over the different abilities all right so right here i'm just gonna read all the different abilities or the different i guess the new changes everything there is in the base abilities also in the lunar form abilities as well so i'll put them on the screen as well for you guys to see and then i'll kind of talk about them afterwards what they are basically going to do so the first one is pa the passive that's a lunacy using abilities attacks uh, attacking enemies gives Luna power. So instead of energy, it gives Luna power. Gathering enough becomes infused with the power of the moon. Luna and Lancer gain, like I said, uh, moon power instead of energy. So now for the base attack, increase the damage base attack by 180% and increase the hit rate and new animation. So the new animation is that he, you know, instead of using the number one ability where you swung your lance, now it's incorporated that. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. All right, so the first new primary ability, we kind of used to this one, uh, used to be on, I think it was on the right mouse button, but now it's the prime ability. It's a grapple, it's just like a grapple hook, and we talked about this uh, before, talked about it a few times. They do have to have some kind of uh, significance, some class identity to the different abilities and stuff like that. But this one called grapple pull, the player towards their target, impact 400 damage, to nearby enemies so it, it says nearby enemies so it's not just a single target thing it is in kind of in we like a little i guess around the the lunar lancer in, in a small area so if you have like three or four enemies it's not only gonna hit one of the enemies it's gonna hit the all of them in together we don't know how many that is it just says nearby enemies so i assume it's all the enemies that are in a small area around the uh, lunar lancer all right, so the new secondary ability is the Lunar Leap. You jump up to the air, dealing 350 damage to enemies around the player, gaining slow fall. So it says when you leap up, so I assume that's when you jump also does damage because for a short time, uh, the grapple becomes so also in Lunar Infused when dealing extra damage. And then you can also add that damage to the player, gaining an attack buff as well if you do that. So it's a little bit of more of a combination instead of uh, something where you just, you know, use your gravel hook or you just use your number one ability as we're used to. So there's a little bit more combination and that's probably also going to gain you some more moon power towards your ultimate. All right, so quickly, there is also the new primary ability. Uh, so that's the Luna infused gravel. That's the one we talked about before. And in, on impact, it does 800 damage to nearby enemies. Again, I think the same and also triggers a physical damage buff i don't know why they put in physical damage buff because usually they just says a buff but it's, it's good that they put it in a physical you know but we know that it's going to be still a physical damage character so but yeah physical damage buff when you use your uh, infused gravel after you use your leap all right so the ultimate ability the new one is the lunar form this ability is used when you have max uh, moon power and then the player transforms and gain a movement speed 50% uh, damage reduction as well, 130% increased attack damage at the top of the 180%. And also moon uh, power drains over time, zero players reverse, reverse back to base form. So this Luna form is nothing super new, if you know what I mean. The Luna or the ultimate ability was co incorporated and was a trigger thing. You know, you got those three wounds spinning around you as random whenever you got it. And sometimes you just lost it and you never gained it. It was just a random effect that happens sometimes and you know that's why people never really relied on it as well so the ultimate uh, ability now is a trick not a trigger but a thumb something you can now control yourself you do have to build towards it but you can keep seeing that you're building towards it, it makes a lot more sense when i show you guys how it works but it's just you know you can just be uh, even stronger and that's also why we're going to talk about in a little bit about the lunar form abilities because everything 
gets buffed. All right, so now for the Luna form ability. So basically they're all the same, just much stronger. I'm gonna go over them one by one. I might put everything on the same screen because it's nothing new to that, but it's just, it uh, does a lot more damage. Uh, it, it's a little bit, but you'll see what we <laughs> get to that. So the base attack is now the Kristen combo. Perform a sweeping attack back and forth, dealing uh, 850 damage. So it's basically the same, but instead of you having to tack a few times before it does a swing. Now it's just gonna swing like crazy. And uh, I haven't gone into the Lunar Forum yet because I wanted to do this right here with you guys. So we'll see together how the Lunar Forum abilities work. Then there's also a new primary ability that's Eclipse Spear, throws a spear dealing 550 damage. It's just area damage though, and also cost moon power. So uh, you can stay in moon, I think you can stay in lunar form uh, longer, but if you then use an ability, it's gonna drain or take out a piece of it and kind of have some kind of cost to it. And then there's the second, uh, new secondary ability, Luna Slam, uh, jumps a high up into the air and slams uh, down dealing 1000% damage, stunning enemies, and also this cost moon power. So I think it's gonna drain, like I said, slowly, if you don't do anything and you can just auto attack and it's not gonna happen anything, uh, or not happen anything, you know, it's not gonna drain your moon power. Of course, it's gonna happen something, but you know what I mean. Well, I guess you can do nothing and it's just gonna drain and just go out if you wanna do so. But 1000% uh, is gonna deal an airy damage as well and also stun the enemies now there's also an ultimate ability blessing of the moon summon a spear from the heavens that's the one we're used to being the ultimate increasing stability and movement speed i don't know uh i'm not a fan of the stability i gotta say uh, i didn't read this when we were actually going through the patch notes and stuff but i don't really the ability is kind of a useless stat the movement speed are great uh, but it probably has some area to it so Movement speed is kind of, you know, you, it's going to be down in the ground and you're going to run away from it and lose the buff maybe before duration is over. Um, I don't know what they could have done, but uh, stability and movement speed, I don't know. Uh, but additionally, applying and healing over time buff for your allies, so you can actually heal people as well. Um, seems kind of unnecessary, but, you know, okay, fair, fair. Also dealing a thousand damage to enemies me on impact. Also dealing addition over time, and it's again it costs you uh, some moon power, and it's probably going to have a cooldown to it as well. You can't just spam all these abilities. There's going to be probably be a cooldown to it. But I do want to say before we head into showing all the abilities off and doing some kind of gameplay thing, is that a thousand percent damage. I said this in yesterday's video as well. Seems too much. So we saw these kind of numbers, a thousand damage on the Chloromancer rework, and it got reverted back to I think 750, and then uh, it hit live with 750 and then it got nerfed again to 500 because people were, of course, soloing uh, Leviathans and stuff like that. I don't know if the... Uh, I predicted yesterday that there was going to be uh, some people showing some videos on one-shotting Leviathans on the PTS server and stuff like that. But uh, we haven't seen that ar arise yet, but we might see it somewhere uh, but 1,000% is is not what is going to hit. That's my prediction. Uh, it would be cool if it does, for sure. Even the 850 damage seems a little bit uh, out there. But we'll see what happens when we get to that. But 1,000% is fun to have on the PTS server. But it's definitely not going to be 1,000% because uh, that is way too much. But it's good to have some damage that people can test some stuff out and whatnot. But... Enough ranting, let's move into the showcase. All right, so now we are just in a regular new nine world and I don't forget to mention that there's also added a new class gym. The long the class gym, of course, still works where you spawn a shadow version of yourself that, you know, does what you do. Also, the Luna form, ha the chance is increased. So I think maybe, well, this is still worded weird, but if I think they should change this to if you have this equipped, uh, you'll still do the uh, uh, you know the shadow clone whatever that's fine, but you know it should increase your gaining of moon power for yourself. But the other one there's here is right down here when Luna form that's when you ultimate right. Your base attack has a chance to spawn a meteors. It says meteors, so I thought it was a meteor this one, but I guess it's more from the sky. So we'll see how that works when we uh, get to that. But it's it we don't do the, know the damage of it and how much it's gonna do, but. 
uh, we'll see what happens when we are going to play. So first, let's talk about the Lunacy. So this is the way you gain your moon power, as I said, when you do abilities in the basic form and then when you also attack. So let's show off some attacking. Uh, let's see if we can find some guys over here. So we can see, and then it does that. Uh, you don't have to really have to attack pe uh, enemies for it. You can see to see then there the swing. You see the swing, that swing. That is the swing we're used to when the number one ability. But that's now the, the leap instead. That's a shadow clone, by the way. He looks uh, pretty cool. Actually, now also, I don't know if it ever had a bar uh, like showing the time how long you had it for as well. But that's just the basic attack. That's the one that deals 180% uh, percent damage. Again, uh, up for uh, changing as well. All right, so next up, we got the grapple hook, as I call it. It's just that's what it does. You, we are used to this ability as well. Uh, so in this, it's just more in the basic form. It's just more of a movement uh, kind of thing where you move, but it do deal damage as well. Uh, not too much, I think. Let's try it on an enemy. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it does do some kind of impact on it. Not too much. It's not too crazy. And there we are, got my Shadow Clone once again. But yeah, that was just the uh, the grapple. We're used to that, but it gets fun when we get into that lunar form or when we are in a leap. So that's gonna be the next thing. All right, so next we got the leap. So we jump up, you can see it actually did damage there. And then you have a short time where you are in the air, which is pretty cool. And you can see, uh, if you uh, looked at the grapple, it did a change as well in the icon. Let me try that one more time. Uh, let's just wait for it to do so and you can see the damage there and then you see that's changed You can see this is what looks different and then it works back It kind of turns purple and then it becomes way better. So you can see I'm also gaining moon power uh, I've tried I might actually uh, See if I lose any of it. Does it just gain when I use the number one ability? I do Oh, I actually just you can actually just power it up when doing this and then it, that's the extra grapple, uh, extra damage when you do that. So it's kind of a movement spill. Um, I can also move around with it as I can get up, jump up and get, get over there and just use the grapple as well. And then it just damage, of course, when impact as well. So let's, let's use it in a combo. I uh, kind of did it there, but let's actually hit this guy over here. He's just uh, having his back to me. So he, he wants trouble. Let's get up and then do the the uh, mouse button there we go okay and i totally whipped on that one uh so let's just grapple over to him and hit him <laughs> and this is like i said again the, the basic attack so now uh you can see oh i actually got two shadow clones now so that is pretty crazy but now we actually build enough to have our lunar form so let's show off the lunar form as well all right now it is time for the lunar form form you can also see it by the three uh, things around me. Now I'm probably gonna hit by a shadow clone, but we're gonna just get him because we are gonna turn in to the ultimate form. Oh baby! Now we are. And uh, see, now it's just swinging. This is the. This is just me. I'm just holding down the attack button. I'm not uh, doing anything else. So this is the auto attack now, and then you have the uh, grapple. That's this throw that does damage, right? That's the th th throw. Uh, thing that does uh, damage at the time, right? So <laughs> now I'm out of Luna form. Didn't take very long. Of course, I also used uh, some abilities uh, as well. Uh, so that's gonna take uh, something like that. Okay. So actually, if you leap and you know use the grapple as well, it also gives uh, power. So that's pretty cool. Um, I want to have the grapple on cooldown like that. Uh, let me try again. Cooldown, and then I want to leap. And that resets the cooldown on it. So you can actually uh, grapple, uh, leap, and then use your grapple again. That's pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. And it's actually going up pretty well. Uh, I think auto attacking is the worst way to get your Luna power. I think the best way is to, to get all these uh, things. But yeah, now we are at, uh, we should be, I only see, let's see there. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the moons were still half, but now they're, it's kind of cool, hard to see this being completely full or not but you can see it around the moon so let's jump into the ultimate form once again and now we got the number one ability oh that's the that's a smash oh that is cool that is very cool and now we got the we all got to show the number two ability so that is the one that goes from the top as you can see 
that's the ultimate ultimate <laughs> as you can see and then you can see there's also these are all the meteors that are falling from the sky uh they are destroying the land so that is actually pretty cool i'm gonna try to what was it again it said when in Luna form base attacks okay so the base attacks is the one so i i did a base attack in there somewhere uh let's try to real quick try to get some uh, stuff back here uh see if i can't uh gain it you're gaining it pretty quick i gotta say it's not that hard um see i'm pressing the number two ability nothing happens so the cooldowns are a little bit a little bit longer um i don't know if you uh see that kind of bugged out a little bit oh, there we go I'm really just trying just because i'm spamming all my buttons to to see how it goes and we are almost at the ultimate again the grappling is a pretty uh, low cooldown but the leap is has a little bit of a time to it and there we go now we can go to the ultimate form again so i'm just going to do some auto attacking so we can see the meteors as well so here yeah that's the meteors oh there's this one meteor oh this one meteor okay that was one meteor. So it's, it doesn't seem like to be a small chance though. It seemed to be pretty consistent with that. So if I put down this, did it just gonna throw, keep throwing? Uh, oh yeah, it did. Okay, so it's just going to throw down. So that's not an auto attack thing. It, that is just what it does. So I don't know if that is supposed to be like that, but uh, I, yeah, it does say have a chance, but it uh, seemed like a little bit more of a chance. That's pretty cool to be honest but yeah that was kind of the showcase there's not really much more to show off uh, that uh gameplay wise uh we kind of just went over everything and so on and i don't want to make this video uh, half an hour as well as yesterday's video so i'm gonna cut it here i hope you guys enjoyed it check out like i said yesterday's video or check out tomorrow's video where i'm gonna go over the new uh, class gems that are being implemented in here including also this one again i will close to because some people might not watch this video they might just want to watch the class one so gotta include all of it anyways but uh, thank you guys so much for watching maybe i'll see you in yesterday's video or maybe i am going to show you guys in tomorrow's video anyways take care thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye